mates, and welcome to a Metal Gear Solid 6 news update, and just a little vlog. I just kind of wanted to do, show this off. Now, I don't think that this really means anything. Like, don't assume there's going to be MGS 6, and I don't know, maybe there will be someday, but knowing Konami, I don't know, but who knows, and hopefully it's not a bad game. Anyway, let's get started. So, Konami assures interest in AAA game development by Jeremo De Los Santos. Sorry if I said that name wrong. And it looks like this was made just one day ago. Found it. Ignore the ad. We're going to ignore that. So, since Konami's shift to pachinko releases of their famous games and the departure of their fans, of the, I'm sorry, of their staff, fans have since lost hope for Konami's AAA titles. Fans of Silent Hill, Castlevania, and Metal Gear are unsure of the series' future due to Konami's recent moves. However, a recent E3 interview confirms that Konami is still into AAA game development. Yeah, sure. But the, com excuse me. But the company only mentioned one title in mind. Will we see Metal Gear Solid 6 from Konami soon? I sure hope so, but I don't know. According to Gaming Bolt, Vulture's PR representative Steve Merritt was interviewed about Konami's AAA development as of late. Voltage PR is Konami's choice public relations firm in the UK. Merritt said Pro Revolution Soccer 2017, or just past 2017, is still coming soon, and Konami's Fox Engine was credited for the quality AAA games from the company. However, Merritt didn't provide details when asked about Metal Gear Solid 6. Previously, Konami promised that there will be another Metal Gear entry after Kojima left. And they said that they're looking for a new director. Despite this, Konami still hasn't announced anything. Quit popping up, please, iClub. Sorry. Despite this, Konami still has yet to announce anything about MGS6 project. Or Metal Gear 6 project, I should say. However, the company released a pachinko unit with visuals of a remastered MGS3 Snake Eater. Technically, the Metal Gear Pachinko could be considered as part of the series, but it doesn't progress the game story and gameplay. Yes, I would like to see something new, like something after Phantom Pain, preferably. Konami's Fox Engine was used for the Metal Gear Pachinko, and it has proven its comp capability in coming up with good AAA game graphics, as seen on Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. However, the engine's architect, Julian Marcus... Mayor, Mayor Merke Run, I'm going to just say that, has already left the company, so any significant improvements to or possible MGS6 development on this engine may lean toward a different direction. Excuse me. Additionally, Julian is currently working with Bandai Namco, but nobody knows if he'll make another game engine of similar quality to Kojima's, to Konami, I mean, their Fox engine. The project he's currently working on is unknown. Technically, the Fox Engine is Kojima's, but legally it's not. Previously, the company announced that they'll still continue developing the Metal Gear series even without its known director, Hideo Kojima. However, for its future plans, Konami used Konami only mentioned PES, the company's yearly AAA title sports game, which may not be enough I need to scroll down. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Are you... Stop. May not be enough to make their long-time fans stay. Most of Konami's games either had dark or gritty stories to tell, like Silent Hills and Metal Gear, to find half of a subgenre of gameplay, such as Castlevania, and remember fondly as a JPR, JRPG classic like... Suikoten. With no promise of these games returning, it may be hard for Konami's longtime fans to continue supporting the company. And I actually forgot, this is the Bitbag website. And I will put the. Can't really see it, I guess, but there. I'll put the uh, that in the description of the video. So, what do you guys think? I don't know. I'm kind of. I don't know. I, I'm just kind of thinking that even if Konami did do MGS6. It might be do it might do badly. However, uh, Tour of Lops was not directed by Kojima, and that I, I wasn't a big fan of that. But that did turn out okay. 
then again, Kojima actually was the producer, and he still had some stuff to do with it. So, there's that. And that was technically made by Kojima Productions. So, if this is made by the new studio, whatever that name is, that made Snake Eater Remake, I... Don't I can't really say like I, I don't know I'm kind of worried about the series, and is MGS six just gonna be a pachinko game I have no idea but I'm I I don't know knowing Konami who knows. I also saw something this is off, off topic but there was also something that said like on Twitter we care about our fans we're still we're considering doing Steam games but I don't know like yeah they're still supporting Phantom Pain on Steam but. I just, I don't see it. I'll believe it when I see it. Um, I just don't like how Konami's treating their fans. But it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to end this this vlog of MGS6 rumors. Of, well, not really rumors, but news, I guess. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think or something. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and I will see you mates on a future vlog or news update.